want to take a minute and talk about the glide and timing. You know, as a, a paddler for, I don't know, a few years, one of the things I hear a lot in the canoe is timing, timing, and what that I think is supposed to mean is that we're not all entering the water. Our blades aren't entering the water at the same time. That someone is entered and then someone else enters. So seats one through five are not synchronous in their entry in the water. And I think pretty historically that's been the case. I'd like to expand that conversation. When we talk about the outrigger canoe and it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful craft. The, the beauty of the va'a is its ability to glide. In other words, when the paddlers or paddler is working with the water in the canoe, the canoe lifts and glides, and then it lifts and glides. And you can feel that glide when the paddlers have a swing, a swing. So it's boom, boom, boom. So everybody has got the same body motion. And then you can feel the canoe start to glide. It's a beautiful thing. It's a fleeting thing sometimes, but it's a beautiful thing. So I think another aspect of timing that we need to consider, if we want to consider the glide, which is the goal, is even though in timing, we should all be entering the water at the same time and exiting the water at the same time in our stroke, <clears throat> I would like to expand that by saying we all need to be having our catch at the same time. So if I'm paddling and my catch is here, right? You see that flex? And the person behind me is paddling and they're slipping and their catch is here. It doesn't matter that we entered the water at the same time, that our timing was right. Because our power and our stroke is not timed. And so now the timing's off. And so that impedes the canoe's ability to glide. And so it's really, really important that all the paddlers have their power, their catch, at the same place. And then work through the stroke. And so when we talk about the stroke, the key for the stroke is to be slow through the water slow through the water. You know, the longer I'm in the water with my blade, and I don't mean lengthwise, although that is helpful. I'm talking about time-wise. The more I'm helping the canoe glide. The stroke and the canoe are not meant for a pop, pop, pop. Maybe to start, like if we're gonna pop, pop, pop for a canoe start. But overall, when we're doing our distance paddles, our marathons, it's not, the canoe's not developed to respond to that in a, in a positive way. The va'a wants to glide and use that energy. So it's really important for us to have the catch timing, to have the stroke speed timing, and to have the exit timing in order to move the canoe properly. It's up to seat one to not necessarily be strong, but to set that tone. The catch is here. We're going through the water. We're returning. The catch is here, right? And to also know how to adjust that rate, not speed up in the water necessarily, but maybe have a quicker return if the canoe feels like it's sinking or lifting. So seat one has to have a feel for that glide, the swing, that motion to adjust 
the timing to make the canoe glide. A lot to think about. But if we all have our catch in different places, then the canoe is not going to do what the canoe is designed to do, which is glide. So that's my little philosophical discussion about timing and the beauty of the va. And um, that's all I have to say for that.